Hi guys, so I'm gonna do a quick video. I know I have not been here in forever, but I am just a busy person and I just want to have time to make videos, but I just really don't. So anyway, I wanted to share two things I got um, over the weekend. And one item came in this cute little packaging and this is a necklace by Kendra Scott. You can pick up her items um, at Nordstrom's. There's um, a standalone store in, out in my area. There's also the website, so you can purchase from there as well. And here I would believe is the um, receipt. Um, I ordered this online and you can also customize your piece, which is what I chose to do. And Kendra Scott's items are pretty reasonable. You can, you can spend a lot of money or you can spend a little bit of money, but this item that I purchased, um, was with tax $63 and 60 cents. So totally not very pricey at all. It comes in this cute little um, dust bag and it says Kendra Scott on it. And I did customize it myself, which is what I wanted to do. Um, but you can also just buy them directly off the, um, off the site already pre-made. This one I just, I love the stone and so I wanted it and I also wanted it in rose gold. I did order an extender because I think the chain length is I want to say um like 17 inches which is pretty like up here and I don't want it to be that tight on my neck so this is what it looks like and so I really fell in love with that stone Let's see if you can see it um but it has like um, traces of purple and then traces of looks like maybe green and it's in rose gold and I have been eyeing Kendra Scott for a while now like a long time and I, I don't know why I just didn't get it a long time ago it, they're not expensive at all and I definitely could have gotten it a while back but for whatever reason I just didn't and I just wanted it so I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger and get it so now that I'm looking at it I probably did not need the ex the extender because it looks like there's an extender on it already so I just wasted eight dollars that I didn't need to waste on an extender because it has one so I wonder and then this little this is her little um her little signature so you can tell it's a Kendra Scott piece I don't know if you can see that but that's her signature for her pieces and yeah I'm pretty irritated that I bought the, ex the extender now that I see that it actually has one so Let's see. So, yeah, it's very dainty and just very, very pretty. And so, I actually love it. And for it to be such an inexpensive piece, um, I just thought it was a great price. It is not um, real rose gold. It is costume. Um... So, I'm assuming, hopefully, that it won't, that it won't tarnish or fade or anything like that. And, like I said, I customized this myself on the website. And I just absolutely love it. And it looks like I could probably even wear it on the other side because it has, let me see if I can get it to focus better. Let's see. Yeah. 
so it's very pretty and then if you flip it over on the other side it's just her signature like so that you know that it is definitely a Kendra Scott piece so yeah I thought this was just pretty um, I'm actually gonna visit the store here in my area and probably they do customization there in the store as well so I probably will visit um, them maybe this weekend um, but I just love her stuff I think it's just beautiful and um, the way it was packaged was just beautiful as well with the dust bag and it's just really pretty I just really I really like it so on to the next item that I purchased the infamous the infamous Louis Vuitton bag so of course you get your receipt and I don't need to share that because it's pointless and then of course this package really pretty and um, I wanted this because I actually do I will get use out of it so I'm gonna actually swap it out with one that I'm currently using now in my purse for this one so it comes in the box drawstring and it's pretty small so you probably can figure out what it is already and then it comes in this nice little dust bag and you take it out and uh, there you go the round coin purse and like I said I will actually use this because I'm currently using one in my purse now it's actually really big I'm using a furla one and it is big and I wanted something smaller and I'm kind of gotten into this where I want everything to match in my bag which is absolutely crazy but that's just what I want to do at the moment so it has the fichetta here on the sides the zipper of course says um, LV on it and you open it up and you have all your little textile cards or whatever you call it um, and there's the price there and then of course the Louis Vuitton little insert uh, I never understand why they put all these papers in um, I, I, I just don't understand why they do that and inside um, because I have horrible eyes it looks like it says Louis Vuitton Paris and that's what it looks like in the inside and I actually went to the um, Bloomingdale's um, store to pick this up and I had to reserve it because these are hard to come by very very hard so I called the store manager um, well I didn't call her I emailed her and she res she put it on the order for me and it took about I would say maybe three weeks and I got it and I went to pick it up at the store and the gentleman who helped me actually made me feel like I didn't belong in the store I don't know maybe I wasn't dressed nice enough I don't know it was Saturday I just threw on something to go out and I don't know he was just really rude and I got a survey from them last night regarding my recent visit and I did indeed let them know that it was not pleasant I normally deal with the store manager when I go to Louis Vuitton I'm actually going there to purchase something I'm not going there to uh, window shop I'm not going there to waste anyone's time I, I, I normally when I go in there I'm going in there to actually purchase something and I've done my research before I've gone in the store I've watched YouTube videos to make sure it's something that I truly am gonna want and that's the only time I go to Louis Vuitton other than that I don't go because I'm not gonna go in there and just look at bags and try them on my shoulder and then hand them back I typically know what I want and I get it that's it so it was kind of irritating that he treated me that way like as if I didn't belong in the store or maybe I didn't have enough money to purchase 
you know and granted this wasn't a lot of money it was a lot for when you think of this purchase you 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 would think okay yeah i didn't you know i didn't have to spend that much on this but it doesn't matter wherever you go you should be treated um with respect um and i just didn't appreciate it so hopefully the store manager will get back to me i actually did um reserve a matisse so I'm on the waiting list for that because I've been looking at that bag. I've been wanting it and I'm going to just get it because I want it. And that will probably be the last um, high-end product that, I would, that I'm going to buy for a while. Um, and that's it. I just wanted to share, you know, these two items with you guys. I haven't been on in quite some time. And that's all I wanted to do was come on, pop in, share these. And if anyone's not familiar with, of course, Kendra Scott, um, like I said, she has a website. Um, I believe it's just KendraScott.com. And then also you can pick up these pretty pieces in Nordstrom's. I believe, um, I don't think Saks carries them, but I'm not positive. I think Bloomingdale's they also carry Kendra Scott but I just think her pieces are beautiful and I typically like to wear um you know like true diamonds and things of that nature but I've gotten really into the costume as well and I just think for the price it is just beautiful it's just a beautiful stone it's just a really beautiful stone although it does look a little different um on the website than it does in person but it's you know, I still love it. I think it's just really pretty. So anyway, it is Monday night. I had a hard, well, I don't wanna say horrible day. I didn't have a horrible day. Um, I, I had an exhausting day and I'm ready for bed. I'm ready to go to bed. So I'm gonna do that and I will pop back in probably, it'll probably be this week cause I actually <laughs> told a fat lie. I actually did place an order and it is coming tomorrow. So maybe I might come back and share that tomorrow. My birthday is in August and I tend to start um, requesting my gifts early. So my mom did purchase my birthday present for me for August for, um, she, she bought it now basically. So I'll come on and share that um, once that item arrives and that's it. So I hope this video finds everyone really well. Have a happy 4th of July, and I will pop by, back in um, this week. If not this week, by the weekend. Have a good night. Bye.